today we're going to tell you about um, about my personal truck that I, I drive every day. It's a 95 F350. It's got 183,000 miles on it. We, um, we're we actually going to be taking the original ranch hand off the front of it and putting a, uh, a brand new one of the Buckstop Vintage Series bumpers on. It's, uh, it's brand new to, to Buckstop's line and we are uh, we're actually going to be I believe probably making the first video with one of these being installed on one of the trucks. Um, this truck's kind of being built as a vintage 4x4 setup. We've got the tall skinny mud grips on it. i uh, got the snug top camper shell on the back of it. In a later video we'll actually show, show us installing the Buckstop rear bumper with the dual swing gates and the cooler and jerry can racks. Um, this truck's actually uh, probably one of the favorite open, one of my favorite OBSs I've ever had. It's a super clean truck, kind of cool. It's uh, all XLT power windows and door locks. It even has factory keyless entry, but it came with rubber floors in it and a five-speed, which is I don't know, kind of kind of cool to me. Kind of the holy grail of trucks because I don't have to worry about getting carpet dirty in it. Yeah. We're gonna get started pulling the ranch hand off the front of the thing so we can get preparations for installing the, the new buck stop. Yes, I know for you guys up north that are used to all these bumper bolts being rusted on, these are not. Sorry for you though. goes to the rear bumper. Holds Jerry can like that's what that's gonna be. <laughs> so this is the side. Right. Who are you talking now? You won't be able to cut those metal straps, I don't think. I'm not gonna cut the metal straps, we'll cut this box open. Yep. So a pretty cool thing about this truck, I actually just got back from from Colorado, and that's my guys over there starting out yeah, on the other side of the show. Um, I actually just got back from Colorado, drove this thing 2,700 miles without a hitch. Um, I actually pulled a 73 Airstream back with it. It's kind of cool. All the grandpa looks. For those of you that didn't know, you can cut metal straps at Crescent Ridge. As long as you open it up wide enough, that's a good one. I don't know if they send you all the winch bolts, but um, what it looks like, they send you a full bolt pack to actually mount the bumper up. Yeah. And maybe a few extras. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. It does, however, look like, for those of you worried about your bolts being rusted out, they send new carriage bolts, so you don't have to hold back up, you just put the knot on. Still probably going to have to have three people, because you guys have two people to pick this thing up for some reason. All there. There's an engine right now. Da, 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 da.
beaver to do a better job than this. Wow. Come That's with me with logic. In the next video of the front bumper, we're going to be installing a set of six and a half inch fire wire LED off road lights. This is to kind of give it that, um, the look of the old school four wheel drive with a little bit of blend and new. Get a big round off road lights, but we're going to upgrade the LED instead of obviously what in the 90s had it had halogen on these things. Just a bit out of date. Yeah, actually, I have the CPA factory replacement lights and um, the grill and headlight bezels. We went ahead and replaced all of this when I actually bought the truck because, well, they've been on it since 95 and they were a bit done. The Texas sun's not, not very forgiving for plastics. The truck's actually got a 38 gallon prototype fuel tank that we're designing. Uh, I guess really we're not designing the tank, we're working more on the sending unit, trying to get the sending unit functioning properly. and. That way your fuel gauge and all that stuff still works like it's supposed to. I actually uh, tested that on the trip to Colorado. I was able to drive from here to Amarillo, Texas without getting fuel. And well, the folks of y'all that don't really know how Texas is laid out, it's kind of big. <laughs> um, we're at the bottom southeast side and Amarillo is in the very far northeast corner of the Panhandle. Um, 600 and something miles. I don't remember exactly how many it was, but it was fun. Yeah, it actually uh, sits up in there a lot flusher than flusher. Is flusher a word? I don't think flusher is a word. It's been there a lot better than than what most of these aftermarket tanks nowadays do. You know, you however do lose your spare tire. I can't really do anything for you there. If you want more fuel, I'll tell me you got to sacrifice something. Um, unless you want an embed fuel tank, then obviously you're sacrificing bed space. So I digress. Dorian's laughing right now, though. This whole entire shop is completely full of OBS trucks right now. And there's like 50 out in the parking lot. I promise I do not own every one of them. Most of them. Some of them. There's at least one here that you don't own because I own it. <laughs> I don't own a single other OBS in this shop besides this one. So when, when we were building this bumper with Buckstop, I, uh, I wanted light tabs in it so I could just easily mount off-road lights to the front. So this bumper is actually designed to run the old school top mount motor Warren Winch. I think the number's like an 8742. That might be a lie, but anyway, um, so we had D-rings added to the front of the bumper and we had the light tabs already mounted to the upright on the front of it so that I could mount my off-road lights. Um, and then we had it done in the in the wrinkle coat, powder coat, so that it, uh, to me, it, it looks better. To me, it looks tougher. Uh, and it'll be a little easier to keep, like, you know, if you get a little scratch or something like that, you can touch it up and it's not so noticeable like a slick powder coat would be. Um, this is the standard coat you get on them, but you can get them in, uh, it's like, 15 or 18 different coatings, all the way from primer to raw steel to gold. Yeah, so in the next video, we're, uh, we're actually gonna install the rear bumper that matches this bumper. It's part of the vintage series that they're coming out with. They're, like I said earlier, they're designed more to flow with the older style trucks. They're more like the old school four wheel drives. Everybody likes the old school Warren transformer bumpers and stuff like that, you can't get them anymore. So, Buckstop's actually ahead of the curve, I think. They're, uh, they're, they're designing this full series of vintage bumpers, vintage style bumpers. They're gonna be for everything like 80s model Chevrolets, uh, the old school bump side Fords. This is the one they just released. It's for the OBS trucks, like this truck, the 92 to 97 models. Um, and man, I, after getting this thing installed in person, I really like it. You know, it really flows well with this project's design. Um, stay tuned for the LED install, for winch install, and for the rear bumper install. We, uh, we should be doing the rear bumper install within the week.